Its first day of school happened weeks ago. But on October 13th, Fairmont Heights officially dedicated its new high school with a mix of reverence, exuberance, and high style. For the nurturing of our children, we dedicate this building. For the future leaders of our nation, we dedicate this building. Befitting a school that traces its roots to 1951, many of its alumni, having bolstered each other through the era of school segregation and remained close ever since, were there for the opening of their new hive of learning. As their jackets said, old hornets never die, they just buzz away. The school itself was somewhat unique. Uh, its very beginning was unique because it was the first black high school built with county funds. Uh, it was the, and it went to the 12th grade, which the other high, black high schools in the county did not. So we've been unique from birth. We come a long way together. And I was so proud to fight for our school because I was alumni of the school. And uh, the whole Senate and the legislature knew that I graduated from Fairmont Heights. And uh, from the governor on down, they tried to help us save it. And this is where we are today. One alumna, Anna Crutchfield, the former school secretary, too overwhelmed to speak, let others sing her praises. She set the tone for the school building. She was in the front office and she set the tone. And she worked so wonderfully well with Mr. Golson and the people in the community to build this wonderful school. And while there was much anticipation among the alums at seeing all the new school's marvelous amenities, they're back today and they're all excited. And I, I talked to someone before they actually saw the school. And I said, you're going to be blown away with this school that you're going to see in your old neighborhood, in your old community. And they're happy. You can see everybody wants to take pictures. This is like, you know, first day of school for everybody all over again. It was mostly a day of nostalgia. Nostalgia for a 67-year-old school that has touched the hearts of those long since graduated as well as at least one high school senior on his first day in the new school. I'm kind of missing the old school because, like, we, uh, for me, I grew up in old school. I learned a lot about myself, and it was more so self-discovery. And But, like, this school is really good for, like, the next classes because it's state-of-the-art. It's new. It's, it's not as run down. We, like, the ceiling were, like, falling out of the old school. I'm happy that I can walk down the hallway, and it's just, it's new. But I still, I do love it, and I love the school, and the atmosphere. But your heart is still over there on Nye Street. Yeah, the old, uh, the old Fairmont. Congratulations to Fairmont Heights High School, now ready to write the next chapter in its proud history. This is Dave Zarin.